If you're juggling ChatGPT, Claude Gemini, I want to show you a platform that brings them all together and can actually complete the work for you. It can create presentations, spreadsheets. It can also create images, videos, podcasts, and websites and apps. And it gives you access to all the top AI models in one workspace. This is called GenSpark, and it's already reached over a billion dollars in valuation in just six months, making it one of the fastest growing AI companies in Silicon Valley. I partnered with them for this video to walk you through seven really practical ways that this could help you in your day-to-day -day workflow. And the best part is this will replace what used to take 10 different subscriptions. I'll start here in the GenSpark platform and I have a special link that I'll talk about that I'll leave in the description below this video towards the end here. But when you first launch GenSpark, it looks like a regular prompt box, right? But it actually works entirely different than anything you're probably used to. So when you type in a prompt here and you send out this prompt, it actually does two different things. The first thing is it figures out what's the best AI model I should use to give the best response. So it does that on its own. You don't have to pick from a dropdown. And second, it figures out, do I need to call any tools in order to give a response or in order to give a result. In this case, he used a version of deep research here and he called that tool and he gave us this response here. And you also see these two options. This one is really great because you could completely personalize this and it'll still do all the other things that it needs to, but it'll know more about you, your profile, the different traits you wanted to have, and even a custom instruction you could type here. But check out this wrench icon here. It allows you to connect any of these tools here and it is a massive list. So just about anything you could imagine, you could add to it. And it already has a lot of tools installed here that it will call if it needs to call them. But let me actually get into the use cases. I wanna walk you through seven of them. The first one I wanna show you is called AI Inbox. And this is one of the most useful features I've seen in any AI platform. AI Inbox helps you understand what's happening in your email without you having to actually read every single thread. This is how I actually use it myself. First, I'm gonna go ahead and link my email account here that I use for work. You could connect between Gmail and Outlook here. I'll do Gmail. Just from the homepage here, I'm just gonna say summarize the last seven days of emails, group them by topping up, flag anything that needs my attention. And again, this knows to call that tool. I don't have to do anything. I just have to type in a prompt here and I'll send this out. Now, GenSpark will scan my entire inbox. It's gonna tell me if anything needs immediate attention right? If anything needs a follow-up, if things could wait. Now, since this is my actual inbox, I sent myself a couple of demo emails just to show you. Now, this gives me an exact overview, how many emails came in, how many of them I haven't read yet, how many of them need my attention, if I need to reply to them, any key trends, email status. Pretty much, I now have a really good understanding of what's going on in my inbox. In a matter of a minute, rather than having to go through whatever 58 different emails to figure out what's going on, now, I just start from the top. Well, these three emails that I had need attention right now. These other ones can be archived for later or could wait for later, but it saves me a ton of time with this one option. Now, the AI inbox tab also gives me a really nice, easy view here. So if I wanna reply to just one specific email from here, they give you this option. So you could just use this as your main inbox. Then it quickly summarizes that email for you. It lets you use chat here to draft a quick reply. And here's my quick reply and it's fully editable. So if I wanna space this out, for example, I could just do that. If I wanna change my signature, I could do that. And it's gonna let me send it or just save it to draft for another time. But since I was able to quickly edit it here, I could probably just send it in one click. So that's a couple of different ways I use the AI inbox. For the next use case, I wanna show you AI slides. So if you create any type of slideshows, this one will save you a lot of time. This basically lets you take an idea and then walk away with a finished presentation without ever having to start from a blank page. Now, you could actually use this prompt box for anything that you use, but they do have different things that are a little bit more customized for specific use cases. So if you wanna create AI slides, you could do it directly from here. But I'll just show you from the prompt box so you don't actually have to go find different tools. And I'm actually working on either a course or a YouTube series on AI workflows for creators. So that's the only prompt I gave it here, told it to include titles and talking points for me. And in a few minutes, this is the entire presentation that is created for me. I mean, look how nice that looks. And all the details I actually read through it, it's fantastic information. 
And the way it works is it actually writes everything. So it creates the outline. Before I used to create the outline in a different tool, use a different tool to create a presentation, right? This writes the whole outline here and it goes through and starts designing all these different slides for the presentation. So here I could actually change anything I want with a simple text prompt. They also have different quick selections like fact check content. You could just click that. It gives you the prompt for that that you could send out. Anything you want to edit for fixing the layout, polishing the content is also available here. So I could go ahead and click any of these here and send that out. So it makes it really easy and everything you could easily export directly from here. Now, the next use case is AI Sheets. They actually have a new one, AI Sheets 2.0. So if you work with spreadsheets, this is gonna be a huge time saver. AI Sheets lets you work with any type of data using plain language instead of any type of formulas or any type of manual setup. And here's a use case that I'm trying to use it for. I wanna create an entire content planning calendar that also tracks performance, things that I need to share internally, externally, organize any type of business data we have revenue i don't want to build a complex sheet from scratch so i'm going to start with a simple prompt here and again they have their own dedicated page here in ai sheets where you could use it here in this case i'll just use this box i'm going to type my prompt create a content planning sheet for the next 30 days include columns for performance status priority and notes and add basic summaries at the top and GenSpark created this entire nicely looking format a spreadsheet for us. And the best part I think is that anything that required a formula already has one created. So I don't have to figure out which rows to add, all the different things that you typically do inside of a spreadsheet is just created from a text prompt. And if I want any revisions, let me exit full screen here. I just typed out a simple prompt, add a column for sponsorships. It went to work, figure out where you should put it here and it created a sponsorship column for us. And all these things, by the way, are fully adjustable to manually, but again, it makes it a lot easier just to kind of do it with a text prompt. But some of these things that I wanna quickly change, you could just do that just like any other spreadsheet software. Okay, for the next use case, I wanna show you how to make an entire website without writing any code. This is with their AI developer. And if you are not a developer, well, you could still build an entire website just by describing it. So again, I'll start with a simple prompt. Create a clean landing page for an AI course, include hero section, short benefits section, pricing testimonial, and a sign-up form. I'll send this out. And in a few minutes, we got this entire designed landing page here, and it looks really nice. It has all the sections I asked for here, pricing, testimonials, which obviously replace with your own, this form here that anybody could fill out, yeah, it looks really nice. Now, the nice thing is you could quickly make changes. So I just said change the colors to green here and it's changed everything that was blue on this page now to green. And then you could go to the publish page here and publish this website and it'll create a URL here and this URL will take us directly to that new site. Now for this next use case, I wanna show you another thing the AI developer could do. I showed you the simple website option here but it could actually do a whole lot more. It could make full stack apps to have things like authentication databases. It could make native apps. You could bring in existing projects. I'll choose this one here. I'll start building. Okay, I have a prompt here. I actually used the AI chat here inside of GenSpark to come up with this prompt, but it's ultimately to build a high-end looking project management app. And I kind of give it the design and the functions that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna send this out and this will automatically use the very best coding AI model in the background to create this for us. And it's already going to work. I let this finish up here and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so it created this app here without me doing any type of revision. It literally did everything on its own. So let's go through this app. So this is a to-do list app. So I could create a project, make a video, description i could pick different things here let's see different colors create a project let's see what our existing projects look like yeah it has different cards wow i mean this is a fully function in app here let's see what settings looks like yeah super detailed settings page it even has light mode wow that <laughs> looks awesome. Could obviously do any type of revision here, add any features, change anything you want. And on the publish page, it'll show you exactly how to publish that to the Google Play Store. And I mean, that took me a single prompt to get to this point. Now for the next use case, let me show you GenSpark's Teams because a lot of times when I'm designing things like in a presentation, it's actually really helpful to get other people's feedback 
right inside of that presentation rather than me downloading it, sending it via email, getting feedback there in text in the email. Well, they have this thing here called Team Chat. So here, I could invite coworkers. I could let them come in as editors or viewers. In this case, I do want them to edit. I'm gonna invite them. And now this is me talking, and then I could see them talk, and then we could continue this conversation, but we're both looking at the exact same presentation here. Makes it a whole lot easier to refine something and get it ready to be exported and shared. Now, the next use case I wanna show you comes in really handy for me is the AI designer. Well, obviously with YouTube, you have to create a lot of thumbnails. So this lets me do this without jumping into different design tools. So let me show you how it works. Again, they have their own dedicated page for it that gives you a lot of different examples here that you could choose from. But as usual, I'll just use the super agent here, create four YouTube thumbnail concepts for a video about an all-in-one platform, clean, modern, high contrast. I really like this one here. Obviously, it doesn't know what I look like, so it has a person here that I could go ahead and replace. This one is also really nice. This might be my second favorite. Again, I have to just replace myself here. And I uploaded an image of myself, and there it is. It uses Nano Banana Pro here. Cut me out of the background, so one seamless background. I really like this. I, I think I'll probably end up using maybe this in my actual thumbnail here and you could also remix it here or just continue the conversation with follow-up prompts and make any tweaks now those are some of my use cases but obviously jump in there they have a ton of different options i didn't cover in this video like the ai podcast developer here the fact checker they have an ai agent that could make phone calls for you for example and GenSpark is offering unlimited usage of their ai chat and ai image models for all of 2026 that actually includes models like Nano Banana Pro, GPT Image Creator, Gemini 3 Pro, GPT 5.2, Claude Opus 4.5. Pretty much all the top AI models are going to be available. So if you want to try this out, my link gives you free credit so you could test everything out that I showed you in this video and everything else I didn't have time to cover for yourself. And let me know what use cases you come up with in the comment section below this video. Thanks so much for watching this one. I'll catch you on the next one.